is Ariel. So today I thought I would just show you what I've done to the mannequin head. I decided to call that Emily and I just put some makeup on to her face. So what I've done is I have, let me just show you with this. I put some yellow, well these are neon colours, here and here, yellow and pink neon, then a white colour here, and then here is like a dark grey and then a black, and then just on the waterline, on the bottom and the upper lid underneath her eyelashes is an eyeliner and I've given her eyelashes two coats of mascara and I've done the same on this side so the white the pink and actually there is a little bit of dark mauvey kind of purple but you can't really see it I kind of like blended it a bit in with the black and the grey and it goes into a gradient to the yellow and there's actually a little tiny bit of white in the corner of her eyes here can't tell too much and then what I did was I put some lip stain on her mouth and then I gave her cheeks a little bit of a glow and then her overall face I put some of this body shimmer so let me just show you a bit better so you can see it catches the light really well so her face is like really shimmery really really nice so what do you guys think of her new look it's kind of quite cool I think so there's a little bit of like a cat's eye kind of like winged eyeliner look there but it's more of a smoky look it's not a harsh black line there's a very faint black line here and obviously on her eyelid here but let me know what you think I'm no expert of course with eye makeup or makeup <laughs> I just made it up so I kind of just wanted to give her some makeup really oh and I put some really pale foundation on her skin because some reason she's got some like pen marks on her which can't I can't get them out of her, out the plastic so if anyone knows how to get like pen marks or any of these like ink stains out of these plastic material mannequin heads or anything like this with kind of material then do let me know because I don't want to start using like a nail file or anything abrasive so she's got like little ones here and here which I tried to cover up with you can see that so she has blemishes people welcome to the real world darling you need biactol you need some biactol biactol <laughs> but I think she looks like she should be in black swan Maybe it's kind of like a bit dramatic kind of look, like a ballet dancer. And I managed to get some of the makeup on my hands. So, yeah, she's got some ink here as well. So, yeah, that's her makeup look for now. 
I'm going to leave it like that for now. Her eyes are really crisp and clear. They're so, like, realistic. I prefer her to any of the Barbie doll heads. She's just like, she just looks like a normal human being. If you can't get me. She doesn't look like a Mattel doll. She's actually... Let me have a look. She is a Theo Klein GmbH mannequin and I looked up on the internet and it said German design mannequin. The hair is really coarse. And I bought this in a thrift store for like one pound. Unfortunately, the only bad thing is, whoever had this before me, I'm assuming it was a kid, they obviously thought it was fun to cut a big chunk of hair from the back. I'm just going to show you here. I know it's not much, but it's kind of annoying. So, I've had a lot of requests from a few, quite a few people. Maybe it was you to do a haircut on her, head massage on her. So hopefully, if I do come to like tying her hair up, you kind of know already about this. Can't be helped, I guess. But um, yeah, really random. Poor thing. She has that like a little rat's tail. <laughs> And I really don't know what this is here. Just like weird markings. She looks like she's been strangled at some point. <laughs> it's quite horrible. But um, yeah, I think she's like really pretty for a, a doll. Some are quite hideous and scary looking. So yeah, that's Emily. And just going to. Hopefully not smudging her makeup. Go with that on her face. She likes down your nose. And down your nose. The two faces down your nose. Down your nose. And the other phrase. my catchphrases. If you're new to my channel, then you now know. So listen out for those <laughs> future videos. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome aboard. Hello to everyone who's been following me all this time. Do shout outs in the next video. I'm not sure when the next live stream will be. Follow me on Twitter at Ariel ASMR. Um, I do try to interact with as many of you as possible. So, do send me little tweets or whatever. I will endeavour to reply to them. So that's Emily and her makeover. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to go now. So see you in my next video.